Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, ingest. In this section, we will first learn about pipeline definitions. We will then move on to put, get, and delete methods of an ingest pipeline. Later, we will learn how to simulate an ingest pipeline. Also, we will look into the built-in and Grok processors. Finally, we will learn how to use the ingest attachment and GeoIP plugin. Now we move on to the video that deals with pipeline definition. In this video, we will add a user field with value, and also we will learn about generic template representation. The job of ingest nodes is the pre-process of the documents before sending them to the data nodes. This process is called a pipeline definition, and every single step of this pipeline is a processor definition. To define an ingestion pipeline, you need to provide a description and some processors which I have already added in this put pipeline.sh file. In this selected description and processors block of code, we define a pipeline that adds a field user with the value John. If you scroll down, you can see the generic template representation. The description contains a definition of the activities done by the pipeline. It's very useful if you store a lot of pipelines in your cluster. The processors field contains a list of processor actions. They will be executed in order. Go back to the previous code block. In this block of code, we have used a simple processor action set that allows us to set a field with a value. In a generic template, the version field is optional, but it is very useful in keeping track of your pipeline versions. The optional on failure field allows us to define a list of processors to be applied if there are failures during normal pipeline execution. 